Then the gas station goes up. This is the same scene. Gas station goes up. Is this realistic? Realistic, you mean so, the boom boom? The boom boom. Mm. So at first I was like, this is not realistic. I don't think a gas station will go up like that. But then maybe it's okay. Maybe, maybe. Let's, could... let's work it piece by piece. So in order for there to be gasoline on the ground, this hose needs to be punctured. The hose mm -hmm. needs to be punctured and needs to be spraying out. I have never looked inside a gas pump, but I imagine that it's when you turn on the gas pump, then it turns on a pump and then it pulls the liquid out, the, the, the gasoline out. Mm -hmm. What this, in order for this to spray out, it needs, the gasoline hose needs to be pressurized such that just, just like a, like a, like a bicycle tire or car yeah. tire, you punch it, there's already mm -hmm. pressure in it and then it sprays out. Um, yeah. that's different than say like a straw and a cup where like, if you let go of the straw, the liquid's not pressurized, it just sits in the cup. And so if you puncture the straw from the side, it doesn't spray out everywhere. Yeah. So, so first, but, the first thing is that this this hose needs to be pressurized all the time, which I'm not sure mm -hmm. is actually what happens. But if it is, say it is in this case, then yeah, I think it's okay that this gasoline is spraying all over the place. It, it, but uh, this this hose looks non-standard. I mean, the hose should be internal to the pump. Why is there this external hose? Maybe that's a key that's as to why okay. it's pressurized. I think that's okay for a couple reasons. So the the hose the hose has to come out of the pump at some point because it needs to like go to your car right so so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm imagining imagining somewhere there's like the nozzle bit i can't see it in here but uh, the hose comes down just in fact in fact when i was living in nebraska we i found one of these old super old pumps it was it was it was interesting it was like from the mm -hmm. 40s or 50s or something so i'm okay with the hose being outside okay uh, so if you leave yeah. the the nozzle if you clamp down on the the nozzle yeah. trigger the thing hand, the handle yeah the handle and you leave it open how far will that the gasoline spray out i've never <laughs> i've never tested it never i don't, don't want to test that <laughs> I, I, put, I put the nozzle in the gas tank yeah um a few feet i guess i don't know yeah. based off of just videos i've seen on the internet mm -hmm. yes so is that what's happening here the nozzle is stuck open or is this a line that's been cut i think this was hit by a bullet i think i think uh Okay. I think. Okay, so so <laughs> if this pump works as a constantly pressurized pump, I don't know why it would, but if that is, maybe maybe this is how it used to work, and then for safety reasons, these have been the mm -hmm. pumps have been reengineered to only turn on when you turn it on. Maybe yeah. I don't know. Um, so 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 let's go with there's gasoline spewing all over the place. Fine, 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 fine. And so then the question. Oh wow, yeah, there there it is, torn. Oh, it is. There it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if there's gasoline spewing all over the place, then is this explosion reasonable? And I think, yeah, I think, I think so. I think it's okay. So I think this is how gasoline burns. Like it's not, it's okay. not like an explosive, like Tannerite or T4, which I've never seen actually explode, but I've seen Tannerite explode. It's like a puff of white gas and rapid velocities, rapid kinetic energies, but not this billowy red stuff. I think this billowy red stuff is a gasoline explosion. And it has the ability to explode. Well, I think the liquid does not explode or it doesn't even yeah, really burn that well. It's the gasoline quickly evaporates and then the, the vapors can burn quickly. I see. Right. And I think this is a okay. quick burn, not an explosion. Is that right? I think that's exactly why. Yeah, exactly right. So it's a, I guess, what's the difference between a quick burn and an explosion? Just speed i guess and the, so like I the pressure so i was looking this up years ago the difference between conflagration and detonation is actually very different but i'm not exactly sure what the difference is i'm still not sure but i think this is a this is a conflagration not a detonation oh gosh did i really want to look <laughs> did i really want this on my search history Okay, uh, that's deflagration. Mm -hmm. Um, to burn down subsonic combustion. Ah, is that the key point? Deflagrations Maybe. in. Oh, right, let's zoom in a little bit. Deflagrations in high and low explosive fuel 
oxidizer mixtures may transition to a detonation depending on the confinement and other factors. Hmm. Most fires found in daily life are diffusion flames. Defla deflagrations with flame speeds in the range of one meters per second is different from detonations, which propagate supersonically with detonation velocities in the range of kilometers per second. Oh. So it's a really, it really is about a kinetic energy. It's about how quickly these spread out. So it sounds like this is a deflagration mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. it burned slowly whereas if it was a detonation it wasn't like mm -hmm. rapid burn this is burning uh, slowly and i think that's that's consistent with what you said about the liquid not being very flammable it's like mm -hmm. you need to have the right fuel to oxygen mi mixture so that mm -hmm. both reagents both reagents can can have access to each other and then explode mm -hmm. and so i and i think that's yeah, yeah 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 okay okay that's why in your engine you don't just straight up burn fuel you don't you don't just it you get fuel mixed with oxygen and that fuel is micronized, atom, atomized. It's like you have yeah. these jet nozzles that go pss, 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 and takes this liquid fuel and like spreads it out into small little tiny, tiny droplets. So that way you get mm -hmm. a lot of surface area, you get a lot of contact between the fuel and the oxygen. And that, Which, that, that allows faster combustion, combustion, maybe detonation because there's a high surface area on the droplets. Right. That allows good oxygen plus fuel mixing rapidly. I wonder if for detonations, you don't even need to worry about that. You don't even worry about mm -hmm. like, do I have enough oxygen? Like, no, no, the explosion is going to be fast enough. It's going to be rapid enough. It's going to be expansive enough that it'll take care of that, I guess. Maybe. Or maybe it doesn't need it. Mm -hmm. if, if you have all of your fuel components already there, then you don't already need there. to worry about mixing. You just set it off and it goes. And it goes. Hmm. So here, we would characterize this as an explosion, but not a detonation, because there's a rapid combustion of the gasoline vapors that were caused by the rapid ev evaporation of the leaking gas ah, from the hose. That's right, because it wasn't just hose in. It wasn't just gasoline like in the pump. It's, it's sprayed all out all over the ground. So this stuff is rapidly yeah. evaporating. Right. Yeah, and if you gosh, this is a real safety thing. If you're going to start a campfire with gasoline, you need to be fast because it's rapidly it's rapidly vaporizing and you don't see mm -hmm. it. It's rapidly evaporating. And so so uh yeah, I I had a friend who lost some eyebrows for that. Uh, you got to be fast. Or nice. or start a fire a different way. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay, so I'm I first thought this was unrealistic, but now I'm thinking maybe it's okay. I think so gasoline burns in vapor form that's right so yeah yeah that, so that's how you i think okay 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 we're putting this together so that's how you get these tall billowy red clouds because it's burning slowly slowly compared to an explosion an explosion yeah. would just be psh, gone gone okay i'm actually like okay it. with this then yeah yeah tight yeah good explanation